Hi, this is Blake Levine. Today I want to talk about bipolar disorder and what we can learn from loss. So, as I sadly look at the cover of this book I've written, I focus on the image of my brother Adam. This was him in the top of the Hollywood Hills the last time I saw him alive in California. He sadly died of a heroin overdose while living in Vermont, and it's quite tough for me because April 4th of this year, 2018, he would have been having his birthday, and it makes me remember that he would have been 32 years old this year, probably enjoying his life, maybe being married or having kids, and it tells me just how hard it is when you lose someone you love. And I want to speak today about what we can gain and learn from facing loss. And I first want to say that losing my brother was probably the hardest thing I ever went through. I'd been in mental hospitals as a kid facing bipolar. I struggled with lots of issues and problems. But when you lose your only brother, there's no words that can describe how painful and harmful it is to your mind. And what I want to suggest for anyone that faces loss is that we don't try to minimize it. We don't say, oh, it's no big deal or, you know, nothing really matters when it comes to losing someone because it does. When you lose that person in your life, you can never gain them back in the same way and we'll always be missing something that is a part of us, that is a piece of us. And my brother Adam and I were different, but we had a really strong bond and a connection I remember taking him to California when he graduated college and having an awesome time. I had so many memories of him going on family vacations as a child and playing sports together and watching him do his dirt bikes and build skateboard ramps and hang out with his friends and all the amazing parts of his life that made him a wonderful human being. And what I can tell you about loss is that we can learn that we have to keep going and sadly... I found as a child, I got to meet a lot of notable people, and because many of them were in their 70s or 80s, I learned from an early age that people do die, and when you lose people you care about, it's hard and it's painful, and you can struggle to think about them and to remember that they're no longer with us, but the best way, I believe, to honor those we've lost is to keep living and to keep loving, to be able to say... I'm going to go on with my life, I'm going to find happiness, I'm going to find hope, I'm going to find health, I'm going to find joy, I'm going to find peace, I'm going to be kind to those I encounter, I'm going to learn to bring light into the life of anyone I get to know, and when you do that, it is honoring those that have been here that are no longer alive, and I want to suggest to you today that it's not easy. And when I remember that this would be his birthday and if he was alive, I would be going to see him hopefully and maybe we would be having dinner and he'd be telling me some of his stories and I could smile with him and I could laugh with him and I could enjoy his incredible energy and I could remember what a wonderful human being he is. And sadly, because he's passed away, I can't do that. The only way I can honor him is to think of him, to remember the memories I have, and to know that it was a blessing to have him in my life. I want to thank you for watching this video. Uh, this is a great book about mental illness and addiction. It shares stories of other people that faced addictions and how, with holistic tools, they ended up getting stronger and healthier, and it has a lot of great ways and things you can learn to give yourself a happier and healthier life. You can t find depression, bipolar, and heroin at the link below. Uh, and I also want to tell you that we do a coaching program by phone where we work to help people that want to make positive change, whether you have bipolar or depression or not, even if you just want some tools, want someone to listen, to support, to guide, and to help you move forward. You can find out about them on our website, BipolarOnline.com. That's BipolarOnline.com. And I want to share one more time my brother Adam and just remember that even though it's his birthday this week and he's not here He'll always be with us in his way that he impacted those that knew him, those that loved him, and those remember what a great human being he is.